What's going on everybody? And welcome back to another video. This video is going to be a workout with me for a week. I went ahead and I picked the top three workouts from that week. The ones that I felt I did the most on and I brought, I brought the pain. Um, I got a couple special guests in it with me so you guys will get to meet them soon. The first thing we're doing right here is we're doing a warm up. I'm warming up the rotator cuffs with side lateral raises. I'll do front lateral raises next and then finish off with some rear deltoid flies just to get the shoulders nice and warm before we start our chest to cleans exercises. Here comes the bench press, okay? Your standard bro lift. What I like to do on my chest days is I like to start out with barbell bench press, warm up with 135 pounds, and then I start to progress into my working sets after that. Shit. Here I have 205 pounds. And then um, we're gonna move on to I think we're going up to 275 today. Um, I actually have another couple of special guests in my video and you'll see them in a little bit. Y'all remember I told you about Freddy, my twin, right? There you go. There you go. What's that? It's YouTube? Yeah, it's YouTube, baby. What's YouTube? <laughs> there go Morgan. Morgan right here. Oh, she's right here, too. Yeah. She gets, she gets to it. She getting after it. <laughs> I need to get me one of these bad Yeah. It's lit. It's lit. But yeah. Yeah. Freddie's on, he's on a different workout split to me today, but. I ain't got no pump, so he, he, he don't be looking way bigger than me. Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'll come back in like, give me like 30 minutes. Okay, we'll see, we'll see. <laughs> My bench press has been lagging over the years and I've learned that this is a good way to increase the bench press because it usually it helps me push from my stopping point or from my lagging point if you will which is like right before I hit my chest so I'm pushing from that moment which is strengthening the muscles needed to get the, uh, the bar up all the way <laughs> um, yeah Low press. Go ahead and give it a try if your bench press is lagging. 
<laughs> the incline bench. Now this is one of my favorite exercises ever. Like ever. Tyler, come on man. My boy Tyler, don't walk in front of the camera. Anyway, the incline bench, one of my favorite exercises ever. I love this bench. Here he goes again. Come on, dude. Anyway, so I went ahead, I did three to four, I think three sets of incline bench. When only I only went up to 205. The issue with the incline bench at my gym that day was for some reason, it kept the seat kept falling. Pissing me off. Okay, you see how I adjusted, I did that right there, it just kept falling. So I think at the end you'll see me actually drop a little bit. I think this one off. one tricep exercise in this video. I did a couple, I did close grip bench and then I went ahead and I did um, these cable kickbacks and then I did this right here. So I went ahead and included this tricep push down. Now I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with the tricep push down, it's one of my favorites. I did a triple drop set, so I went, to, I went for 10 to 12 reps, flipped the weight, 10 to 12 reps, flipped the, the weight. They're like switch loaded. I don't know if you guys have switch loaded at your gym but um, you can just kind of, instead of having to take the pin out, put it in, I went ahead and I just kind of flipped the thingy. I hope I didn't kill your eardrums on that one. Um, but yeah, I had a little bit of fun with it on this workout. So, uh, hit that whoa. Um, had a little bit of fun on this workout, um, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Day two, y'all. Today, I got my buddy Taylor with me. Um, I haven't seen this dude in a long time. Uh, he, he's become a father. I mean, life is, life is, you know, happening. But it's always good when you get to see old friends. So we we went ahead and we did a leg day today. Um, I started off with, we started off with some squats, some barbell squats, just trying to get nice and warm here. I got 185 pounds of pumping, pumping, and then that jacket, fat. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this, the whole nostalgia fit I got on. I got Dragon Ball Z and I got these Nickelodeon shorts on. If y'all just so happen to give a damn. Taylor's out here hitting 225. Um, putting in work. I don't know why I got this angle. That was the weirdest angle of all time. Uh, I went up to 235. I didn't put in the, uh, the progression. The pace, you know, I didn't have enough space on the memory card. You all get that, don't you? Y'all understand. Y'all. But, yeah. So, you'll see here, we went ahead and did a squat progression. We went up. Then we left here and went ahead and went and did um, leg extension. So, at this gym that I'm at, they have like a really cool leg extension that you can do um, isolated leg extensions, single leg. And um, that was bussing, bussing. We did 10 to 12 reps on the ISO, um, and then we moved on from that to leg press, which we did. Um, I don't know if you guys saw my video at Alpha Omega, but I went ahead and I took that leg press workout and I adapted it here. So you do 10 high and wide, and then you'll do 10 close and narrow. Uh, narrow sorry, low and narrow. And that one is a killer.
number three. All right. Today was a back and by day. We're starting out here with lap pull downs. Oh, and by the way, I got a special guest today. It's Miss Teresa Miller, aka T Miller Fit on Instagram. Y'all go give her a uh, uh, follow. And she has a YouTube channel. You can subscribe to her channel. I'll put the link in my description uh, for this video. God damn, look at the lats, boy. Anyway, we are doing lap pull downs. We are full stretch at the top and then contracting at the bottom. Nice squeeze, stay vertical. Try not to donk yourself in the head. Uh, there's T. The attitude. Anyway, like I said, she's got that full stretch at the top, trying to stay vertical. Oh, is that Bombshell I see? Yeah, y'all go uh, follow her on Instagram if you shop Bombshell or any of you ladies. Uh, she's got a discount code in her um, bio or in her link tree. Just go ahead and hit that up. Get you a nice little set to work out in. Anyway. Did y'all see? Did y'all see that attitude? Anyway, this is a seated row machine. Um, the very great machine that we have in my gym. Uh, I like it because you can you can go one arm at a time. Um, we did eight, uh, ten to twelve reps on this. Um, nice, sweet. It's it's a great machine. I'm telling y'all. Anyway, um, ten to twelve reps. Here we go. <laughs> gotcha <laughs> throw those shoulders in there just because you know what I'm saying I I need these shoulders to grow All right. I needed a push movement just because my body was itching to push some weight yeah <laughs> anyway T loves doing push mo movements of her own she went ahead and grabbed some weight and got to work. Side lateral. Now, my golfer's elbow was bothering me a little bit, so I went ahead and I dropped the weight down. Um, just to get a an N effective contraction. Because if I was trying to go too heavy, the forearm would take over and that would not be bueno for my golfer's elbow. So drop it down just a little bit. I don't like my dreads like that. Anyway, there go T. She's doing the same, except she's able to go, you know, pretty decently heavy on those. Um Form, keeping it nice. Yeah. Reverse curls. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Well, didn't you just say you have golfer's elbow? I do. But these don't seem to bother my golfer's elbow, so if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You feel me? Um. So I went ahead and I did 10 to 12 of those, you know, and as you can see, it didn't really bother me. Mm, nothing. <laughs> T decided she was gonna do regular curls. Um, ain't no standing no game, do what you do. Anyway, that's the end of the video. Why don't you guys go over to Teresa's channel, give her a subscribe, and follow her at T Miller Fit. And if you're not following me, I'm at Sean Gale underscore fit. 
catch y'all on the next video. Peace, y'all.